Hello, I'm Greg Gerling, the director of the undergraduate program in systems engineering. It is my honor to be with you here today. I'd like to welcome everyone, students, parents, fa faculty, friends, and families uh, of the students to the class of 2020 virtual graduation events. We're excited this afternoon to award bachelor's degrees in systems engineering to present students and faculty awards, and in general, to celebrate the culmination of the hard work of our students and the support they have received from their family and friends. This is a unique and unprecedented time in our history, and therefore, so is this event. Indeed, planning for this event has been student-driven, and we hope that you will enjoy our next hour together. We look forward also to a future on-ground ceremony. Before we get started, a few suggestions. The microphones and video cameras of the audience have been turned off. We ask that you keep your microphones off throughout the ceremony. If you're being specifically recognized for your degree or an award, you're encouraged to, to do, do turn on your video cameras and wave to the audience. Uh, and also to be able to best enjoy the Zoom ceremony, I'd also, I'd also suggest adjusting your view to a gallery view and that will allow you to see these images as they pop up. Let's get started. I'd like to introduce the faculty of the systems engineering program. I've been saying we, since in addition to me, our faculty are here to celebrate with you. We greatly appreciate that you've trusted us with your family member over their time at UVA. It's been our pleasure and honor to work together if the faculty are able, I'd encourage you to please turn on your cameras now and wave to all the students out there and their families. Thank you. Three years ago, when our students selected their major, they chose systems engineering. If any of your parents are anything like my mom, perhaps they never quite understood. David, are you muting me or am I on? We're okay? Okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay. Three years ago, when our students selected their major, they chose systems engineering. If any of your parents are anything like my mom, perhaps they never quite understood what you were getting into. And maybe the students themselves really didn't either. I mean, what really is systems engineering? Here's a quick tour of what our graduates have been engaged in. You can move to the next slide, David. Basically, our field seeks to improve decision-making, so to improve overall system performance. Such decision-making is of vital societal importance in domains ranging from healthcare, especially right now, to defense, to commerce. It first involves asking and addressing the right question holistically or learning systems thinking, which is probably more involved than they initially thought. It further involves rigorous methods to wrangle and analyze data and learning ways to frame problems from a probabilistic or statistical basis, as the world very seldom presents us with simple go or no-go decisions. As well, it involves considering how people decipher data, use computer interfaces, and judge situations. In such context, over their fourth year, our students have applied these skills working in a capstone project with a real industry client, and they presented their work at the IEEE Seeds Conference and as well to their client in May forums. They did the conference presentations in the form of archival conference papers and presentations. Does that do it? Well, if not, maybe I can ask today's speakers to address it better than I can. We have a full program, and so I wanna get started with our speakers now. 
First, I'm thrilled to introduce our guest speaker, Jalen Ross. Jalen is a 2015 systems engineering graduate. In his time at UVA, he served in numerous capacities, including as UVA student body president and earned many honors, including being named a Jefferson Scholar and a Rodman Scholar. Since graduating, he's worked with the Boston Consulting Group and at Harvard Business School on his MBA. It's great to see Jalen again. Jalen, thank you so much for creating that video and speaking to the graduates today. Next, we have a message from one of today's graduates, Rob Prater. Rob is a Woodbury Forest graduate. He has been involved in numerous activities and societies, including the Blueprint Emerging Leaders Program, Pi Kappa Phi Fraternity, and as a ULINK peer advisor. He was selected by his peers to deliver the address today. Good afternoon, family, friends, classmates, teachers, and fellow members of the university community. My name is Rob Prater, and I'm humbled to have been elected by my fellow systems engineering class of 2020 to speak to you all today. I plan to talk about three things. First, the difficult times, insane experiences, and laughable moments we as a class have shared. Second, the eternal bond formed from which will not only transcend time, but also distance not to mention national crisis, which we can so plainly see. Lastly, the times we have experienced together as a class, whether that was cramming for an exam outside the exam room or leaving that exam room together and heading straight for training. Now, before I begin, I find it a little ironic I was selected to speak. Is my name, Rob, when defined by Webster's means to deprive someone of something due, expected, or desired. And I think I can speak for my fellow graduates when I say we felt nothing less than robbed of our culminating experience here in Charlottesville. However, I would rather not focus on time lost due to extraneous circumstances, but rather the past three and a half years and how strong we have grown because of it. Not to mention how y'all dealt with me over the past three years in group projects. I stand before you all in an unprecedented time a time of global dependence on technology to ensure our healthy future. And as we grow more reliant on our computers, phones, and of course, Zoom, we lose something that makes the UVA systems engineering degree special. Now that we've had our first test run on being apart from one another, at sometimes it feels like we've never been closer. Our ability to maintain a sense of family throughout these turbulent times goes to show how strong and close we've grown over these past four years. And I thought it may be interesting to bring you on a PG rated tour of our past four years together. So here we go. First year fall, our vastly informed high school minds postulated on the idea of becoming a systems engineer. Later that spring, we assured ourselves we most definitely wanted to become systems engineers and started seeding the minds of our cohorts like Amanda Seeger in biomedical engineering or Peter Myers in computer science to come and join the dark side and so begins our systems family. In our second year spring, we start our major specific classes and the Cody Fleming fan cup begins. And we think, yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool. In our second year spring, Matthew Gerber teaches us the sheer power of data and information technology, all from his daily neighborhood runs. Coming into our third year, we came to a quick realization, one that our families happily reminded us of, that college does not last forever. And so began the long, intense fall recruiting process. We all also started becoming TAs for younger students, gaining leadership positions of various CIOs, and ultimately building more knowledge of and respect in the engineering department. Not to mention, we also started recruiting younger engineering students to try to become systems engineers. In our third year spring, you could always count on a fellow systems engineer friend to hold your spot in Clem, as that is where most of us slept. Now, of course, we won the 2019 basketball championship, 
but more importantly, we learned how to correctly use the Microsoft Equation Tool and staple at a 45 degree angle. As fourth year begins, our anticipation for graduation intensifies and capstones start which all seem to make miraculous progress and find their ways onto our resumes in those first few weeks prior to full-time recruiting. Now, despite marking the 100 days until graduation, our fourth year spring begins. And as we all head out to Mardi Gras and then our respective spring break vacation, our anticipation and excitement for graduation only grows stronger. And as spring break comes to an end, we only come back to Charlottesville to realize that the time we had together may have already been spent. Classes, from our capstones to golf class, all moved online. Overall, the systems engineering degree will draw respect from all of our future employers for the remainder of our lives. And we not only have the university or our families to thank for this, but also each of our rigorous and eccentric professors, pushing us to become the best systems engineers possible. However, when we think of who got us to the place we stand today, it's each other. To say the least, we've all gone through an absolute hell to get this degree. And I can say each of you is an integral part of the family we have developed over the past few years. Whether it was from group projects galore or intimidating class presentations or group meetings to help cope with a difficult exam, we have seen each other in both the best and the worst of times. When we're counting on the time we've spent together, I cannot deny our engineering class has several traits that model a family, and I would like to share with you a few of them. The first and obvious trait of our family is perseverance. We get one another through tough times. And in our family, when one is down, another hastily picks that person up to carry him or her onwards. And it did not take us long to realize that systems classes would be much more tolerable functioning as a unit. Another key trait our family resembles is accepting one another for who they are. Despite the hodgepodge of backgrounds scattered around the globe we possess, no matter what groups we are tasked to work with, we all effectively banded together, encouraged one another, and put our best feet forward, especially when presenting to Professors Bailey and Scherer. The final and pivotal trait of our systems family was overcoming the psychological theory of me versus us. This is commonly referenced in adolescent children when they are learning to sacrifice some of their own good for the benefit of an entire group. And we students learn to function as an erudite faction. No matter what task we were faced with, this group could handle it. Because together, when functioning as a family, we are able to adapt and react unlike any singular person could. These traits were not earned in a random singular instance, but rather developed over time. As we go on with each of our lives, we will maintain these values, bringing them with us to share with others, and they will only ripen with age. Going into the working world, holstering the ability to persevere, accept, and work as a collective in this unprecedented time is like walking into a stochastics exam with a photographic memory. Due to this, I urge each and every one of you to carry these values with you beyond UVA, no matter what the future holds for you. Whether it's the corporate world, volunteer work, or graduate school, remember the lessons you learned here. Find the people you can support and they will support you in return. Find those mentors who will guide you. Find the friends who will persevere with you. Continue finding your families because when you reach the destination, as we have today on graduation day, those families you made will be the reason the journey was worth it. However, never forget, as you build these connections and these new families, you will always have your systems engineering family and UVA family here. A special thank you and congratulations to the systems engineering class of 2020 and to all the people who made my time here the most impactful four years of my life. And I do think this is in order. Now, finally, I would hope to see you all in the fall in our in-person graduation, where we can finally be less than six feet apart and be the true systems family that we are. But we all know, as the wise and infamous Cody Fleming says, 
It depends. Thank you. Rob, thanks so much for that speech. Uh, excellent work. Congratulations today. At this time, we're pleased to announce student and faculty awards. When I call out the award winners' names, recipients are encouraged to give the audience a wave. So let's begin with the Rader Outstanding Students Award, named in honor of Lewis T. Rader. This award is given to one or more graduating fourth year students who have established a strong academic achievement record, demonstrated excellent interpersonal skills, and a strong work ethic. This award comes based on faculty nomination. This year, we have three recipients, Cameron Burley, Emma Hands, and Jackie Hodge. Congratulations. Next, the Raider Undergraduate Service Award is given to one or more graduating fourth years who have been excellent citizens of the department as demonstrated by valuable service to peers, faculty, and staff. This award is driven by student nomination from which the faculty select the eventual recipients. We had many, we had many nominated students this year um, and this class has so many deserving people uh, for this award, very difficult decisions we had to make uh, eventually. This year we had three recipients, Sarah Nelson, Shane Cassidy, and Simone Olson. Congratulations. Next, the Matthew Waite Memorial Award. This award is given to a rising fourth year student Matthew was a former student of ours for which this memorial award was established. He was a very good natured and friendly person and his personal style immediately disarmed anyone he met, resulting in no intellectual intimidation and making him incredibly effective at working together in groups and solving problems. I would like to note before I announce this year's, this year's winner that last year's awardee was Mark Schenkel. This year, the rising fourth year who won the award is Neil Sin. Congratulations, Neil. Neil was selected by his students, by his fellow students, rising fourth years, and um, very positive comments uh, were given on Neil's behalf. Finally, the Nkosi Undergraduate Teacher of the Year is given to a faculty member who is selected by fourth year students in a process overseen by Systems Engineering's Professional Society in COSI. Here to present virtually are Shane Cassidy and Sarah Nelson. Hello everyone, my name is Shane Cassidy and I'm the president of the UVA chapter of NCOSI, the International Council on Systems Engineering. And I'm Sarah Nelson, the vice president of NCOSI. As a group, we collected votes for the Systems Teacher of the Year and this year the award goes to Professor Bill Shearer. I'm sure that all fourth years can agree that Professor Shear has been vital in shaping their systems engineering experience. He not only taught us the systems analysis process, but he ensured that we applied it to a variety of real world problems. Being on Professor Shear's capstan team this year, I can attest to his dedication to his students and to the systems engineering program. Professor Shear constantly inspired us through both his research and our assigned case studies. He ensured that we received an education that covered a range of areas and industries all the while motivating us to work as teams and to produce high quality work. On behalf of the class of 2020, we want to thank Professor Shear for everything he has done to benefit the students of systems engineering. Congratulations. Congratulations, Professor Shear. Very deserving recipient. At this time, we'd like to move on to the awarding of the bachelor's degrees in systems engineering. Professor Lighty Klotz will now read the name of each student 
Feel free to turn on your video and wave as your name is called. Austin Daniel Anderson, high distinction. Darby Lane Anderson, highest distinction. Gabrielle Alexander Argush, distinction. Aaron Kelly Barrett, high distinction. Alara Murray Badir. Bailey Addison Biber. Henry Branham. Amanda Isabella Brownlee. Cameron Jill Burley, highest distinction. Elizabeth K. Campbell, distinction. Benjamin Carper. Shane Cassidy, high distinction. Emma Chamberlain, high distinction. Aniket Chandra. Bhavana Chana Vajula, highest distinction. Matthew Wynn Coulter, highest distinction. Claire Marie Deaver, distinction. Rahi Desai. Owen Maxwell Dodge, high distinction. Robert Connor Donnan, highest distinction. Amber Noel Echelbarger, highest distinction. Courtney Rose Edwards, distinction. Cameron Michael Fard, distinction. Thomas John Finkelston, Distinction. Patrick Dooney 
Finley, high distinction. Alana G. Flores. Miller, Caldwell, Garrett, Distinction, Grayson, Thomas, Gatti, Julie, Eva, Gavrilovis, High Distinction, Melanie, Karen, Gonzalez, high distinction. Anna Hickel, high distinction. Emma. Hand, highest distinction. Toby Samuel Hansford, distinction. Jacqueline Blair Hagee. High distinction. William Michael Hollinchek, highest distinction. Colin Michael Hood. Raymond Wong, high distinction. Allison Marie Hudak, highest distinction. Aryan Iyer, highest distinction. Rishab Iyer, high distinction. Olivia Kenzie Johnson, high distinction. Mason Elizabeth Jordan, distinction. Tan Caramete. Hannah Natalie Katinas. Christopher Lewis Kaler, high distinction. Shrugdera Cockerell. Jessica Marie Krenitsky. High distinction.
Michael, Jacob, Kuxta. Neha Kolkarni, Distinction. Jem Kutai. Georgie Elise Wafer. Distinction. Mariana Callahan Lansing. Emily Shanley Ledwith, High Distinction. Taylor Luong. William Berkeley Lupton. Christopher William Marshall. Zachary Sloan Martin. Dylan McGowan. Megan Keeley McGowan, Distinction. Shannon Casey McGrath, Highest Distinction. Luke Ross McPhillips, highest distinction. Benjamin Joseph Metzger. Samantha Jean Miller. Charles Van Iper Moens, high distinction. Peter Frederick Myers. Sarah Winston Nathan, high distinction. Thomas McLean Nelson, Jr. Joseph McCann Nelson. Sarah Catherine Nelson, high distinction. Judy Yen.
Tiffany Van Nguyen. Corey Benjamin Nolan, high distinction. Kalehi Ihwama Nwanavu. Nathan Ohaney Okai. Simone Elizabeth Olson, distinction. Noah Thomas O'Neill, highest distinction. Matthew Ryan Orlowski, high distinction. Griffin Nicholas Ott. Leah Elizabeth Palombi. Zhang Su Park. Colin Patton, highest distinction. Lauren Elizabeth Perry. Robert Stanley Prater III. Christopher George Puffco, highest distinction. Michael John Quinn, distinction. Ryan Fernando Ramias, Highest distinction. Allison Page Renahan, distinction. Victoria Rowe. Carl Rhodes. Emilio Rivero. Kelly Rohr, highest distinction. Lena Romeo, high distinction. Charles 
Roe. Blake, Everett, Ruddy. Mark, Frederick, Shankle, highest distinction. Prati Shah. Shalin Shah, high distinction. Amanda Seeger, distinction. Nicholas. William Smith. Kayla Sabrina Spiegelman, distinction. Agni E. Stavranaki. Scott Michael Stasel, distinction. Catherine Jane Taylor, highest distinction. Eric Michael Timmons. Charles Tollison. Vilan Famtron. Matthew Trivet, William Edmondson Trotter, Ian Sebastian Tucker, high distinction. Daniel Joseph Ungerleiter, distinction. Antonio Hippolito Vaz Reposo Mendez de Alameda. Kayla Ann Wallet, high distinction. Jacob Schumann Walsh, distinction. Kelly Weiler, high distinction. Ryan Wells, distinction. Joshua Malik, 
Williams. Tucker, Joe, Wilson, Distinction. Allie, Rose, Wine, Distinction. Peter, Worcester. Sophia Zhao, high distinction. Amy Jilu G, high distinction. Daniel Li Zhu. Highest distinction. Angela Yi, highest distinction. Jacob Stephen Ziller, highest distinction. All right, congratulations systems engineering graduates, throw your caps, make as much noise as you want and uh, feel free to turn on your cameras and wave to your classmates. Great work, everyone, and congratulations, indeed. David, could we move back to the presentation? It's been a pleasure to be here with everyone today. A big thank you for putting together today's presentation as though to David Thomas and Chantal Gross, who are ESE staff. Thank you for all of your work uh, putting this together today. It's a lot of work, great job. It's one of our great privileges to share in the future successes of our grads today. We ask you all to please keep in touch. We love to hear from you, all the faculty do. And we would love for you to be involved, be it in a guest case study in a class or as a speaker or in other capacities in the future. As a reminder, we have a meet and greet from 5 to 6 p.m. today where you can drop in on a Zoom room of any faculty member. Details were sent in an email beforehand. Again, that's 5 to 6 p.m. Uh, today. Take care, best wishes, and congratulations, class of 2020. You did it.